everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys last. I hope you guys have been well since I've been away. And I am ready to do some farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys today. So I hope you're ready for that. But before we get started, I do want to share with you guys this awesome air mattress that Adu sent to me. It has a built-in pump and it is a queen size air mattress. All you do is unroll it and then you plug it in. It's super easy to set up. And then it has a dial on it where you can set the firmness level of the mattress before you blow it up. And I just set mine to flush. And then the other dial, you just turn to inflate and it inflates within minutes. So once it's done inflating, it turns itself off and your air mattress is all set up. So it just took a few minutes to set it up and it's really soft, super comfortable on the top. It's also waterproof, so it would be great for outdoors as well. And then it's so easy to tear down just like it is to set up. All you do is turn the dial to deflate and it deflates all on its own. And then once it's done deflated, you can just put the cord back in the little holder that it comes with on the mattress. And then you just fold the mattress all up and it comes with a nice little bag to put the mattress back in. And that's it, you're all done. If you guys are interested in an air mattress, check out the links down below in the description box. All right guys, now let's get started on the DIYs today. For this first DIY, I'm gonna be using three of these Dollar Tree metal buckets with the twine wrapped around them. And I am going to be using a drill and a drill bit. I just used a drill bit that was as wide as the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And then all I'm gonna do is take one of those buckets and turn it upside down and drill a hole in the bottom all the way through. And then I just did that to the other two buckets as well. Now I'm making this as an indoor hanger for plants, um, but you can make this for outdoor. You would just need to drill some more holes in the bottom of the buckets for drainage. Now what I'm going to do is take a thing of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I am just going to go to one end and I'm going to make a just regular knot at one end of the rope and just make sure that it is pulled tight. Then I'm going to take the other end of the rope and I'm going to feed that through one of the buckets all the way through until it gets to the knot. Then I'm going to tie another knot above that bucket and then feed the other bucket through. And I'm going to do that again for the last bucket. I actually ended up making my knots a little bit closer to my buckets. So I untied them and redid this at the end of it. Um, but now all I'm going to do is for the last bucket at the top, I just tied a knot so that that would uh, stay in there and then just cut off the excess nautical rope. Now I just cut a piece of nautical rope for a little hanger and I hot glued that to the top of this bucket and that was it. I love how this turned out. All right, for this last DIY, some of my footage was corrupt from it while I was doing it, so I ended up taking it apart to show you guys how I did it. Um, it's a real simple DIY. It's like one of those racks that you would put in your kitchen to hang plants and uh, towels on. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but what I did was use this plunger and I just used the handle from the plunger. And then I took this Briar Smoke Stain by Verithane and I stained the handle in that color. I love this stain and color. I actually saw it on Ashley Lauren's channel and that is why I got it. Um, and then while that was drying, I took one of these hanging planter baskets from Dollar Tree and I just removed the hook from that basket. And all I did to do that was just bend the end 
where the chains are connected and then just take that hook out. Now Dollar Tree does sell just the chains um, that you can get so you don't have to get the baskets, but I just had these lying around already so I thought I would go ahead and reuse them. And I'm just gonna do that to another one of these chains so they can have two hooks for this project. Next, I'm gonna use one of these Flowers and Gardens tents from Dollar Tree. And you can see on the back of it, I drilled two holes at the top of the ten, just with a drill and drill bit. And now I am just going to take those hooks and I'm going to put those through both of the holes on the tin so that way they can act as a hanger and hang on my bar that I'm making. And then I just close those hooks with my pliers so that they would stay on. Now to hang my bar, I'm going to be using these universal tool hooks from Dollar Tree and they come five in a pack with their own screws and I just screwed two of those hooks to the side of my island. The length of the bar so that way my bar would fit nicely along there and then I just hung my decor on there. Now I do want to say that I just recently saw a video by Julie from Julie Marie's channel and she made something similar um, to this so and she made it all out of Dollar Tree items and I loved what she did so if you guys are looking for something similar but a little bit different using different items Items, check out her channel in that video I'll leave it linked down below but I love how this turned out it works perfect on the side of my island I just added this little uh, piggy um, cutting board and I think it looks great I hope you enjoyed these Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIYs. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.